I was seven when I found out I was going to live with Uncle Kone. My father's best friend with stories for days on end. I was so excited as I knew I was his favorite. He told me so every time we played in secret. I would sit on his lap, my waist he would grasp, reciting rhymes with his fingers that I would always remember. He would tell me he loved me, and I loved him too. I just wish the things we did didn't hurt as much or feel so wrong. He said he loved me, but his love cost me so much pain and I didn't want it anymore. I was 13 when Aminu said I was a real woman now. I went to his shop to fix my school uniform. I mean, I was finally in GS3, so it was my turn to look sharp. He forced my ties open like a thief in a hurry to take what wasn't his. Closed the doors, then tiptoed away like he was never there. He had me said it was my fault. <laughs> She asked why I did not fight, said I walked too slow for a child. And then she, she beat me so that I would change my ways. I was 20 years old, my neighbor told me that she has a teaching job for me in a foreign city. She said it was our anchor out of poverty, that I'll be able to help my mother and send my younger ones to school. So I took it and I thank God for the opportunity. We got to this foreign city on a Friday. Um, it was many days and nights through the desert and oceans to get here. When night time came, she gave me short dress to roam the streets. She said it was time for me to do the job to pay the debt that brought me here. At that moment, I realized it was all a lie. I was not supposed to be a teacher, but a thing to be used by others. I was 26 when I fell in love with teaching. I was tall dark and handsome, with a charming smile. He said he loved me, but he had a strange way of showing it. He pulled my hair, slapped my face, and kicked me on the floor. But I love him so much. And I knew he loved me too. There was blood on my face. But I had to beg because I knew I was wrong. But I couldn't leave him because he loved me so much. Until the day he beat me, and left me for dead. I was 35, great at my job, one step away from making partner. I should have left his office, but I had a presentation to make. I took one sip, was it two or three? I don't recall anymore. I was skirt on the floor, my veil across the room, my top off, and the room was spinning. And when he was done, he said congratulations for winning. And then he walked out and left me to pick up the pieces. I couldn't tell anyone who would believe me. 
and I couldn't fight for justice because he was too powerful. A few months later, I went to the clinic and I tested HIV positive. I was 50 when my husband died of a heart attack. His brothers said they were his only family. So, they accused me of being a witch, beat me up for killing their brother. Then they took everything we had worked for and left me with my daughters with no inheritance. Again. <laughs> <laughs> 